What's up everybody, Evan Yuan here with week 4 of Fortnite, chapter 3, season 3. So this week, so this week once again we got more snap parts to unlock. So we got a headpiece and an arm piece if you complete this week's challenges. And we got a torso piece if you completed every single challenge for every single week up until now. So that is it for this week's snap pieces that we got. And then for some reason, part four, the vibing bonus goals are not available this week. It's going to be available next week. So for this week, all we got is the weekly quests, which by the way, pretty easy stuff. I don't think there's anything that complicated. Maybe the first quest I tackle, I got kind of lucky because a lot of people are landing on it. It might be as hard as the IO chest that we needed to get back in the last season i think but i'll give you all the options you have if you want to go somewhere else and everything else should be pretty easy but anyway before we start don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and use code avignon at the epic game store or the fortnite item shop so let's start this with we're going to be landing at an airship the airship near Horaki rios and we need to loot two chests or ammo boxes now this one has two chests and one ammo box so as you can see someone gets one of the chests i get lucky with a shotgun and i kind of freak them out a little bit they they use a rift on me so i just go back down and get the chest and the the ammo box for myself so yeah, if you don't if you're having trouble and you don't want to land here i'm going to show you other locations uh, every location doesn't have a lot of chests or ammo boxes I don't know what's the situation right now if people are landing on these other places the the main page for the quest show only three locations but there there's two locations there are two more locations that you know maybe I'm not sure if they count because they're not showing on the map but they are airships as well you know crashed airships they should count you know, the one on Tilted Towers and the one all the way east. So I'm going to show you all the locations and the chest, uh, the chest locations for them. So here at Tilted Towers or Loot Lake, we got one singular chest. To be honest with you, I don't even know if you can interact with that chest. But it's there, you know, if you need to know that, just to be accurate. Now we go to the one between Cro Conic Crossroads. And the sanctuary. We got three chests here and an ammo box. Now the final chest I show, I'm not sure if it's going to count because it's not exactly in the airship, but you know, might as well try it out. Now we're going to the one east on uh, the map, almost outside of the map. We got two chests in here, one at the top of the airship and one in the water. I'm pretty sure you can interact with that one in the water. And lastly, we got the one outside of the map as well, near Condo Canyon. And we got this ammo box here, a chest, two chests, and another ammo box. This is the one that has the most chests and ammo boxes. But again, I don't know if people are landing in these places, you know, a lot right now. So now going from the airship I landed on, I'm going to this new spot for a... Uh, a seed pod because we need the seeds now someone already interacted with the pod here but I, I got one seed here there's another location you can go to to get you need a you're gonna need a seed but you know I went to this spot because I thought nobody's gonna go here I'm gonna show you once again an, uh, an updated location for every single seed pod and on the map right now there are two new locations this one I'm showing that I got and then there's one at uh, this new location near the airship I landed. This used to be the Butter Barn, as you remember. Now it's called Butter Bloom. There are five seed pods in here. But I imagine a lot of people are landing in this place right now because it's a new spot. You know, as you can see, this used to be the place in Carl Castle. But if you want to go here, you know, that's up to you. So these two spots are new right now for the week. Let's go ag once again through the... For every spot available so we got the ones on tilted towers two of them 
Now right here outside of Greasy Grove there are two another two. You can also go here if you want to for this challenge. You might have less people here. Then we got the two on the gas station near Reality Falls. They are free on Reality Falls. There are two near Rave Cave, one in the lake of Wy of Logjam Lotus, and in Logjam Lotus we have six pods. So those are all the locations currently available. I'm gonna keep doing this every week, updating them. So we need to bring this seed to either Fungi Farm, which is where I'm going, or you can go all the way to Sunflower Saplings, which is all the way near Sleepy Sound. And with that name, I feel like they're gonna have reality seeds there eventually, maybe. Maybe they are available right now, I don't know. But I chose Fungi Farm to, you know, because it's near where I'm doing everything. Also, I coincidentally, I actually have a seed already in there. I thought it was be, I thought nobody's gonna land here. I literally just put this plant here and nobody was landing here. And now they decided to put a challenge and as you can see, everyone is planting their seed in this spot. So at the same time, I'm also gonna do another challenge here. It's mantle onto a ledge within three seconds of sliding. So pretty simple stuff. just slide and just mantle do that three times pretty easy stuff so i you know i went to loot my already legendary plant fruit unfortunately i didn't get a seed you know i by the way i was supposed to bring that seed here i ob obviously died so i tried to gamble and just see if my plant had a seed it didn't but as you can see everyone is obviously uh planting their seed here so there's a bunch of of fruits you just you, you just grab people's fruit and you should be able to one of them should pop up, up a seed for yourself now you just gotta plant the seed here and that is another challenge now i don't know if the i couldn't plant because i already had a, a seed planted so i destroyed mine but i actually remember i've done this before and they let me plant multiple uh, seeds. You know, just the last one counts. You can't actually have multiple seeds at the same time. But I don't know what happened here exactly. But yeah, so basically you don't need to worry about getting a seed. Obviously, it's, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get a seed here. You know, not every fruit is gonna give you a seed. But a lot of people are planting their seed here. So there's a high chance you're gonna get it. Same thing for the other spot, all uh, near Sleepy Sound, uh, Sunflower Sapling. There should be a lot of plants over there as well. If you want to gamble and try to see if one of those plants will give you a seed, that is an easy challenge to do that way. Now, this I could have done before I went to the fun guy spot, before planting. If everything went according to my plan, I would have gone here first. You know, we need an E11 blaster, and this is a spot to get it. Now, all we need to do is destroy 15 objects, 15 structures with the blaster. But I forgot to do that, so I didn't do it here, but I'm going to do it later. I'm going to actually show you another Imperial Docking Bay location that I thought uh, it was just a single part. But there's actually another part of it. You're going to see what I mean when I show it. And I do this challenge. So from here we're going to Gracie Grove. We need a vehicle. And we're going to we need to do 250 damage while in the vehicle. Now I try to do you can do this against enemies, obviously. But as I've been saying already, doing it against wolves also counts. So I do that here. You know, someone else tried to shoot me, 
I do some damage on them as well, but you know, doing it against wolves is way easier. Now from here we're going to Rave Cave. We need to travel 500 meters slipstream around Rave Cave. So just simple stuff, just go into the slipstream and just wait there until the challenge is done. So now here I'm going to do the challenge, destroy structures with an E11 blaster rifle. We need to destroy 15 of them. So on the north Imperial Docking Bay, we got this sign here that I shown before, but there's another area below this this part here there are more chests if you need to this is not the only chest on this area but anyway for the actual challenge we need to destroy 15 structures try to destroy anything that is doesn't take a lot of damage because you don't want to waste time right so i'm just destroying this canister thingies and these antennas anything that is easily destroyable should work Destroy 15 of them, that's the challenge. Now from here, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna show you the structures. It's like an extension of the Imperial Docking Bay of this area. Now from here, we're going to do the challenge Knockdown Timber Pines with a Ripsaw Launcher. So Ripsaw Launchers are a new item in the game. And in this location, this is the only place apparently you can find this new item the ripsaw launcher you can see them on the there's a bunch of them on the walls you just press square to equip it now apparently you can also find them as chests and floor loot but it's not a guarantee so he's this is the only place where you guarantee you find them this spot is a new spot i believe for a few weeks now and also since logjam lumberyard is no longer exists Kyle used to be there, he's now here on this location, if you care. Now for the actual channel, all we need to do is fire the Ripsaw Launcher at a, a Timber Pine. So as you can see here, I, I do it on a regular tree, it doesn't count. It has to be a Timber Pine. So the Timber Pines are the ones that if you destroy them, they're gonna knock down and they're gonna damage players. So pretty easy to ident identify them, they're pretty... A clear brown color. So just do that to five of them. I found there's exactly five of them here around this location. If you need more, there are more locations. I believe around Rave Cave. There's a lot of them if you need that. And that is it everyone for this week's challenges. Should be pretty easy except for the IO the airships. You might get lucky or you know if you don't wanna if you're having trouble maybe just don't do it right now. I'm sure it's gonna People are going to move on to something else, and then you do the challenge when everyone just forgot about it. But yeah, that is it. No, once again, no part four of the vibing bonus go. We're going to get that next week. But that is it for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store and the Fortnite item shop. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.